Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center coming at you from the QSP booth from Blade Show 2023. We got another guy with a really cool name over here. David, how are you? Good, good. good. <laughs> yeah. I always notice that you always introduce yourself as David C. Anderson, so I call you that even though it's a, yeah, like, it's, I'm David, you're David C. Anderson. It's sort so. of the curse of what I do, but yeah, it's yeah. all good. <laughs> well, we've got some new stuff to take a look at, uh, some stuff that's A, just hitting the shelves, or B, uh, still in the, uh, the earlier stages, but we're gonna yep. take a look at uh, all of the newest stuff here yep. with you. So, indeed. Take it away, good sir. Yeah, so Swordfish just came out last month. Uh, so people like button locks all the time. Uh, kind of going in with some of the circles. It's kind of going into some of the lineup that we have available. Uh, but people love button locks. It's a very striking blade uh, shape for it. And then under $70 or about $70 for this guy. Uh, so it's a really nice setup. Yeah, the flipping on them is really good. You've got the, the wrist flick motion, yep. no problem. Thumb studs as well. And man, that's a really great utility knife right there. Yeah, and it's definitely, I mean, good for all size hands, small or large. Yep. Uh, reversible pot clip, also wire pot clip. So if you guys like that, um, a lot of the crowd likes it. And I wasn't too much a fan at first, but I started to uh, warm up to Go it. Go for it a little more. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and actually, if you don't mind, yeah, we'll we're going to jump from that over to here. Yeah, going on the circle lines. Because the handle here has some DNA that it shares kind of with what it we're, does, yeah. this, uh, the canary fixed blade, yeah. actually which was this guy originally. Yep. And now and then, you're bringing it. Now we have a folder. It's a folding format. That's really cool. Yeah, and the folder is really nice. It's kind of a one of the standouts. The action's really nice on it. It's probably about 2.1 ounces uh, for the weight on it, but very snappy action for it. Also reversible pocket clip for it. And it does have uh, the little you know, block off right there, uh, but it's really nice. Yeah, the flicking action on that is and it's super yeah, crisp. Super crisp on Sometimes it. some of these just come out so so right. I don't know if it's a combination of the tension and just where exactly that thumb stud is placed. Yeah. And this is one of those that just yeah it is incredibly and satisfying. And all our knives are we don't have assisted knives, so it's like working with a detent, working with uh, the action yeah. on it. So it's just kind of tuning it. So this is a prototype at this point. Yeah, so it is a prototype. Final so steel out there. and stuff has probably hasn't been finalized yeah, yet. Yeah, it's probably going to be D2 on it. I mean, so you're going to be very uh, inexpensive, probably under $40 uh, for the price point. Uh, but there's some floating around, so you might see some people with it because we did sell some of the prototypes. We just got to have, have one of them at least to show off. Again. Yeah. No, that's a great little blade. Thin enough, full flat grind, versatile shape. Dig that. Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Really nice. Yeah, so it seems like it's a kind of a common thing where we have unnamed knives. Uh, mm -hmm. We have more unnamed knives. So uh, this one here is going to be kind of a Persian shape. Uh, so uh, again, help us out if you guys want to. Uh, but it's going to be a Persian shape knife uh, for this one. Uh, this is going to be a D2, uh, about $50, maybe $55. Uh, but still great action for it and just tuning it in really well. The Micarta feels really good on it as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, continuing to offer a lot of great value for that fifty to fifty fifty-five yeah. dollars there. Yeah, and quality, still, quality service price. Quality right? service price. Yeah, so that exactly. little triangle pivot. Uh, so that equals each point of that quality service price. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a good feel to it. Yeah. You're gonna have a really good, good kind of slicing sweep to that blade. Yeah, I mean, we do a lot of birds, and then we're kind of going off to bigger animals, smaller animals. Maybe we'll do spiders or something else. So let us know as far as what you guys want. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, premium side, so we had the Rhino come out, uh, and then this one's going to be also a secondary unknown or unnamed knife. Uh, so we're playing around with different material. Now uh, this is actually made in China for this material. Uh, a lot of different color options that we have, some green, some red, white, and blue. Uh, this one's kind of a blue and white, uh, but then it's either the carbon fiber, uh, kind of a mix. Uh, so it has a really distinct thing. Somebody say, you know, like a, I don't know, it just has a lot of color to it. It's like a carbon fiber Damascus type, yeah, of, very much type so. of vibe going on. Yeah, that's cool action yeah, there. Yeah, some say Peacock. I mean, that's one of the names that came up. A that, few that's times. a good good name. Could be a good name for yeah. that uh, color combo. Yeah, yeah. Flicks well. Oh, yeah. Um, did we mention blade steel on this uh, one yet? No, or still prototypes. Yeah, so, yeah, but M390 sure. is going to be the goal for that. Now, okay. Probably about 340. Uh, so, yes, we had started with the Penguin about no, years ago. It was like 20 something. Now it's no, about 34. Uh, this is going to be more of the premium line. So we're covering all bases, so we're not leaving anybody behind, but sure. also we want to uh, be able to serve the customers moving on up. And that, that the, I know I showed the flick work real, really well, but mm -hmm. the thumb opening, that is so comfortable yeah. with yeah, that shape over, yeah. that you've given to that, uh, that stud piece right there. Yeah. 
Very cool. Yeah, pop color at the pivot as well. Very nice. Yeah. So, any out things? I mean, we have uh, kitchen knives on the bottom side of things. Uh, so we'll come back to Penguin since we're known for that. But all these different kitchen knives, we have some copper. The match is kind of a Sanmai style, uh, a 10 CR for the cutting edge, which is equivalent to VG10. And then we're going to have that sheath for that with a dangler. Um, also have these here. So the range on that goes anywhere from about $60 all the way up to almost $300. So really, if you want to have a really pimped out knife, uh, you can do that in your kitchen and have something to really show off to people. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. And then and penguin. some penguins. Hence, we go back to the <laughs> penguin. Uh, but going off of that same type of material, we have a green. Uh, we also have a blue that we sold earlier. Uh, but it just has a nice uh, different pattern to it. Uh, it's something to show off. Uh, this is going to be the Penguin Plus. So you're going to have 20 CV, uh, the titanium wire pocket clip for it. Uh, just it is uh, that full Penguin that you all uh, come to know and love. Yeah. Yeah, always good action on these for sure. Yeah, another big utility knife. Great yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so that's just about 190 uh, for a price point uh, that you're going to be finding over there. Next up. Yep. So we might come back to that one because it seems like it's a really popular one. But then one up front, this is going to be popular probably in more European markets. Uh, this is going to be the Penguin Slip Joint. Uh, so we have the Hedgehog and then now we have the uh, Penguin one. Uh, dialed in pretty well uh, for that as far as the action, walk, talk. I was going to say, that kind of looks... People, they look. Yeah, that action looks great. Yeah. So it is a little bit more modern because it does have a closed stop pin. Uh, so it doesn't have that kick, um, but it is uh, flat open mid-closed, which everybody loves, that kind of finish yeah. uh, to the knife. No, it feels great, it feels great. Yeah, so 14C28 uh, for those, probably about $65 roughly that you're gonna find in retailers. Yeah, not too bad. And look at the spine treatment there, like that's so clean, yeah. the different layers there coming together. Yeah, so I think we dialed it in pretty well, so if you're looking for slip joints, QSP might be the place to get something that you really like and use. Dig it. Yeah, very nice, very yeah. nice. Yeah, last one up. I mean, this one is one that was a test. Uh, we've been hearing at shows Penguin Button Lock, Button Lock Penguin. We have like 48 different models, 49 different models. So we're like, oh, well, we'll try some different things. But uh, kind of caving to the crowd <laughs> a little bit. Uh, so you know, Button Lock Penguin. Uh, so this one does actually have the flipper tab. Also has a thumb stud for it. Uh, so you're getting also another deployment method that you gain with the Plus, but then a smaller size. And you're getting that button lock for it. Uh, so it's a... It's one that we sold out uh, for the prototypes that we had within the first hour. Uh, so uh, I think the crowds have spoken. The, the people we, have spoken. The, yeah, yeah, the people have spoken. So we'll probably be producing those um, as well. Yeah, I mean, the action's there. It's, it's dialed in for sure. Yep. And then you've got the clip is reversible, yep. which means this is going to be easy for lefties as well. Yeah, and then 14C28, which we brought in with the mini penguin. Uh, so that's going to be um, bringing it to about $65 for retail pricing. Not too bad, not too bad. Solid, man. Well done. Yeah, so continuing to work with you guys. Again, uh, let us know in comments. Let us know um, by emailing us or anything else. Uh, we're working with the community. We're trying to bring you guys stuff that you really love, love that you um, that you want to carry uh, with the QSP lineup. Excellent. David, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Appreciate your time, folks. Make sure to keep an eye at the Knife Center website. Some of these models, like I said, are available now. Uh, so if you follow the link in the description, you'll be able to find those hopefully pretty easily. And Keep checking out the rest of our great Blade Show coverage. Thanks yep. so much. Yep. Thank you.